Hi guys, I wanted to come to you today with my wax empties. This is about three or four months of wax empties. I am not real sure. Yeah, I lost track a long time ago. I don't know. I think it's four. But um, we're going to start with this. Um, I went through a bag of jumbo cotton balls and the reason I use these is this is what I clean my wax melter out with. I have um, like a cup that I have gone to. I've had to go to stores now like I will stop and get an iced tea that is in a star foam cup so that I can pour them in there. I used to have a bunch of them from when I used to go to restaurants all the time and I got this brilliant idea before I decided to start my new lifestyle and I threw them all away. So, um, yeah, I'm having to use some star foam, smaller star foam cups because I get unsweet tea in it. So, um, I went through those and that's how I cleaned the wax out. And then down at the bottom, you'll see a bunch of, um, these tea lights down here. And I have been doing this it's called Huga. It's H-Y-G-G-E. And it's from Sweden. And it's more of a, like where you use fairy lights or Christmas lights, some kind of white light candle, and um, whether it's um, a flickering battery operated one or um, these tea lights. A lot of people in Sweden use the, the taper ones. I have a crazy one-year-old cat, so... Um, that's not the safest thing in the world to do around here. But I have these. I have three glass snowballs. And they're some bougie brand. Um, I got them off of eBay. And I got one at a garage sale one day. Because I saw somebody on um, YouTube have it. And I thought they were the cutest things. So I have the three snowballs sitting on my entertainment center. And then I have my art glass trees that are sitting there on one side. And then on the other side is a glass uh, toy soldier that's supposed to hold one of those pillar candles that ain't happening between me and the cat that it'll go we'll set the house on fire and we all know I've already done try to do that with the toaster oven so but anyway oh here's another one of those so we'll just throw that over there I went through two of my white chocolate apples I always love that scent, so there may be some more in here. I'm not sure. I went through a blackberry tea. This was good. Um, I went through Welcome Harvest. Love that. And let's see, what's another one? Uh, cinnamon stick, and it was exactly what it says it is. So, I can still smell it. Whew. Um... So some of these, I went through the spiced pumpkin co pumpkin pie. I really like this. I got the bigger one. Uh, it was, smelled very good. Um, it was a stronger one. I like that. I would definitely get that again. I got the pumpkin cider. Um, I love the scent of it in here, but I don't think it was very strong. It was... It was okay, but it wasn't the strongest, the, like the pumpkin pie or something like that. It wasn't that strong, so I don't know if I would get that one again. Um, I got this Warm Rustic Woods because I thought it was, um, it was like this, the exotic, I thought it was exotic amber woods, and I saw the rustic woods and thought it was the exotic woods. And I smelled it and I knew it didn't smell the same, but it still smelled good. So I wanted to try it. So I did like this and I would get it again. I think I actually have another one somewhere. I think I bought two of them. Thank God I didn't buy a whole bunch of them thinking it was this. This is one that they put out a long time ago. And it's I think it's pumpkin wreath from Yankee Candle that they used to have. And... They discontinued it, and then Walmart discontinued this, and or not Walmart, Better Homes and Garden did, and I absolutely love this scent, and I cannot find it anywhere. I think I have one or two more of these, and then I'm out. So, if I can find it again, I definitely would. I went through this Better Homes and Gardens pumpkin and chai, 
I love the smell of this in the carton, but this did not perform well at all. I could not smell it. I think I ended up putting four of them in at one time. There's eight cubes and I put four in at one time. Still could not hardly smell it. So um, it was ginger, pumpkin, allspice, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon, toasted cassis, uh, whatever, and black tea scent notes. Ginger, pumpkin, allspice, clove, and cinnamon. You should have been able to smell that or I should have been able to smell it. I could not smell that. Those are scents that usually blow you out of the house. Not this one. So I have another pack of this. Just be, just a word to the wise. If it smells good in the package, it does not perform well. At least it did not perform well in my house. So if you want to put it in the bathroom, maybe it'll do something, but um, it didn't do it coming through my kitchen. I went through a pumpkin honey butter. I like this, and there goes the squirrel down the line again today. Uh, spiced pumpkin pie. Is that what... Oh, apparently I went through a lot of that. I think I found this a couple of years ago on sale. I went through that. Um, Birchwood and Burn... Birchwood and Bonfire. I love the smell of this. Yes, this one was very good. Oh, I love that. Um, Harvest Pumpkin Peach. This was okay. It wasn't one of my favorites. Pumpkin and peach just... I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. I dealt with it, obviously, but it wasn't my favorite. This is one of my all-time favorites from Sensationals, and it is the Pumpkin Apple Muffins. Yeah. Absolutely love this. I think I have another large package of this somewhere. It must I've already must have put it up. Um, but I love that as one of my all-time favorites. If you want, it smells like the batter. Not so much the finished product, but the batter to me. And it smells amazing. And I love it. I went through iced mocha lat latte. I almost dropped it. And it was a coffee scent, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I haven't seen coffee scents in a while in these things, so I'm sad for that. But I did find one at Hobby Lobby that I'm going to try out. It's the Kona Coffee. I mean, I'm going to see what that's like. Um, I did get the orange and cinnamon roll. Somebody was telling me to get that. I absolutely love these. It smelled like they were in my house, which made me want them but thank god I didn't make any of them and then I went through I finished the rest of the jackal and I've had this from super tarts for quite some time and um yeah you can see the oils in there and this is super soft on that so um this was blackberry preserve zucchini bread and toasted mallow so absolutely love this and I would get it again if I could. I finished up the chocolate melts from Wilma's shop. This was good. I love that. Um, caramel apple smi spice. I love that one as well. The sugared sugar pumpkin cronuts. Um, I love this one. I think I had to put like a through at least three of these or more in the melter at one time to get the scent, but I love these. Um, I just don't know that it's worth purchasing them. Then I went through some um, can Colonial Candle Almond Biscotti that I had um, put in the freezer and then chopped it up when it was cold, and I just finished that off. It really didn't have a lot of smell to it, so it's gone. I don't have to deal with it anymore. Uh, the sugar milk, I just used this on some of them that I needed to calm down. And, um, yeah, that's what I used that for. And then I have the bottom of a candle or um, something, a votive. Autumn leaves. Um, I don't really remember this one. It didn't stand out to me. It was a votive. This is another one of my favorite from Sensationals that comes from Walmart. And it is the Lemon Blueberry Donuts. And it is absolutely amazing. It is strong. 
it smells good so between this one and the pumpkin apple muffins these are two of my favorite because they're gourmand and I absolutely love them another one that I love from there is cedar and lavender stay calm I absolutely love this it smells so good and it doesn't hurt that it has purple packaging either here's the pumpkin autumn wreath I did find um, a wax melt in it I have some extra ones in there still that I'm saving and I love that um, I went through a Honeycrisp apple cider I don't really remember that one uh, the Countess from Super Tarts, Pistachio, and Chai Sugar Milk. This was good. I this is one that I loved. Banana Pumpkin Bread. This one was good. It was okay. Um, if I get it again, that's fine. If I don't, whatever. Um, Eucalyptus and Spearmint from Barrett's Wax. I don't know if they're even still open, but I did like that one. And this is the Bunny Sisters and... I'm not really sure what scent this was. <laughs> there, I used to have a Sleep Eaters. That may be what it is. Because I did go through a Sleep Eater. So I have that. Um, and I do love the Sleep Eaters. I went through an Ava's Country Covered Grape Confetti. Love that. This one I did not like. I don't know what it was, but I did not like this one. And it is Marshmallow Krispies Sugar Rush. That may be it because it smelled like sugar, just sweet, obnoxious sugar stuff. And so I was, I think I might have put something in that to tone it down because it was on my last nerve. Um, I went through Swan Creek's White Peach and Clove. Love this and would get this again. Um, but I haven't been to the um, the Affair of the Heart craft show since the lockdown, before the lockdown. So um, I don't know when I would, when I'll be able to go back and get some more. I probably could go some find them if I found them somewhere else. I'd get them. Um, apple pumpkin donuts. This is really good, but again, this is a really mild scent. So unless you have a small space. My house is only a thousand square foot, so it's not like it's going to get lost in this large house I have. Um, so it it doesn't throw. I mean, if you have mine's a thousand square foot, if you have that or anything bigger, and I don't even know what it would do in a smaller location because that it was in the um, kitchen, it had to go through the dining room and the living room, and I couldn't get it in there. I can only smell it when I was in the kitchen, so. Um, you might get away with it if you have a smaller apartment or something. Uh, vanilla root beer from Destination Wax. Absolutely love this one. It was amazing. This is frosted carrot cake from Sassy Girl Aroma. And I love this and it smelled just like carrot cake. Then I went through a Bitter Homes and Garden Black, Violet, and Iris, and I bought this originally for the packaging because my mother used to raise all kind of irises, and it reminded me of her, but it also happened to smell really good. So I like this one. Um, it didn't smell exactly like one at Iris, but I loved it anyways, so... I was really happy to have that and then I went through I only see two of these I went through two of the little black sands that I got for 10 cents seven or eight years ago when they had these um, on one of their um, what their shot what their sales they have um, I got those a couple of years ago no it's, it's been like six or seven years ago that I got that Peony white tea. I used this. I couldn't smell it, so I just used it up, melted it, and then poured it out. This is Holly Go Lightly. It was okay on that one. It was one of those roses. Um, this one is from Wilma's Shop. It's Karma. It's the scent from Lush. Absolutely love this. Finally used this one up, and I was sad to see it go. I used it sparingly and finally used it up. 
This one is from BZ Tarts and it was Dr. Pepper and this started melting. I didn't even let this melt all the way out before I chunked it. It stunk. It was just, it smelled like bottle caps and the candy bottle caps and I was like, mm -mm, we're not doing that today. So I just chunked it in the trash. Zigfield's 15 minutes. I like that. Um, Beezy's Tarts. I got rid of an iced tea. I do like the iced teas that he has. I went through a Mystic from Sensationals. Absolutely love this one. It's just a sweet, a soft, sweet scent. I just love it. It's berries and everything. Love that one. I uh, went through a lavender pink mallow from Wilma's shop, and it's okay. It wasn't my favorite from her. Um, Midway's blackberry patch, I liked that one. I have some really old ones in here, and I still have some old ones in there that I'm still trying to go through. Um, Barrett Wax, if they are open or they ever open back up, um, I would love to get this one again. It's Texas Rose. It was a yellow wax. And it smelled like something from my childhood, and I absolutely loved it. And I savored this one until I finally used it up. Another one of my favorites is the White Tahitian Woods. I absolutely love this one as well. This is more of a springy, summery one that I use. So, absolutely love this and would definitely get this one again. Love it so much. And then this one got, you can see, it's just going in the trash. I thought I was getting another, I don't know, I can't remember what scent it was. I thought I was getting, but I just I just read the wild lavender and I didn't see the linen. And then I put the two cubes in my deal. I cannot stand linen scents because I had a friend that she went crazy with Yankee Candles, cotton, whatever it is. And that was when they were really strong and it made me sick so I can't stand linen anything linen so this is going in the trash I do not care I did go through two lighters um, with lighting a candle and then my tea lights sassy girl beach night type absolutely love this I have another pack in there and it is absolutely amazing I love this scent White Pumpkin and Sage. This was not very strong at all. Um, I think I have another package or two. I can't remember because it smelled so good. But it wasn't that light or wasn't that strong. So I don't know if I would get it again. I'll probably forget by next year and, and get it again. But anyways. Here's another one from Bunny Sisters. And I have the label it even fell off. I don't even know where that's at. So um, yeah. If it's Bunny Sisters, I loved it because they were one of my favorites. Juliet's Cafe. I love that. Ava's Country Covered Lavender Ice Cream. Loved that. Um, I have another Pumpkin Wreath votive that I went through. Then I have Destination Wax Cotton Candy. It was okay. Destination Wax Lilac loved this one. It was very authentic. Um, more, Mordred. This was okay. Um, I have Morgan Le Fay. It was okay. I went through Sultry Angel. It was good. And I went through Rain Candy Cotton. Cotton Candy and Rain Strawberries. And this was good from Super Tarts. So I just wanted to let you all know what I went through. My thing is getting ready to go off. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.